This is the last question in the week one quiz for our programming and it's very similar to question 19 and in question 19 I've used a one approach. In this question I'm going to take an alternative approach so that between the two questions you get the best of both worlds. So uh, the data set we're going to be using here is called the uh, air quality data set and it is an inbuilt data set in the R environment. So you just type in air quality, all lowercase letters, and there it is. Let's just look at the head of air quality, just first few cases, first few rows. There you have it there. Now, the thing about this is that the months are, you can just sort of see it there, that the first few cases indicate months five, and the last few cases, which you see just above it, indicates months nine. So it's months five, six, seven, eight, and nine, essentially May to the September. And we're taking air quality measurements. Now, the question asks is related, uh, is related to air quality in the month of May, month five, okay? Now, just by accident, we could sort of realize that that's the, just, we just have to sort of pick out the first few data, um, the first few rows and get the mean, the maximum ozone value of that month. But we're gonna take much more structured approach in this uh, question. So what we're going to do is we're going to use logical indexing on the air quality data set as such. So air quality um, where air quality dollar sign is it lowercase letters or uppercase letters capital M month equals that's two equal signs uh, five because it's May and little comma and blank because we're picking all columns. So this is the air quality data set for the month of May. Okay, and so what we want to do is find out the maximum value of ozone in that. And again, let's take a very structured approach. What we could do here is use a summary command. Let's just bring that back up and just find the summary of that. Ozone, so the maximum there seemingly is 115. Let's try a different approach, that, that's the answer. But let's try a different approach. And uh, there's the answer there. Uh, let's try a much more structured approach so that you can do it dynamically. Uh, which is to say that you can sort of uh, use this as a automate the process rather than just looking at output like this that you can automate the process such that it's part of a larger program. So the we're interested in particular in the column ozone. So let's just see if we can get that out on its own for the month of May. So let's control L there. Let's, let's go back here. So what I'm going to do is bring up ozone. Now there's gonna be a few mistakes in this. So uh, what I'm doing is I've subsetted rather than the whole rather than the whole data frame, I've subsetted by just, or I subsetted the ozone column. Now there's a mistake here, and it's the incorrect number of dimensions. See, air quality ozone is a vector, there we have it there. Whereas what I have up here relates to a data frame with rows and columns. Essentially, what I have to do is get rid of this comma here. So it's it's just we're, so we're working with elements of ozone rather than rows and columns. So let's just get rid of the that there. And so that's the uh, ozone values for the month of May. And now we, all we have to do is find the maximum of those. NA, what happened there? If you recall earlier that we have to do NA remove equals true. For earlier on from a, um, a previous question in this set of exercises, so it's it's in the, the, it's from an earlier question, so it's one of the earlier videos. So that is how we would uh, get the value out there. 
and again the reason you can do the summary command and just get the first 37 rows uh, but if you want to learn how to program very complex things you can't be just looking at values from summary you have to just be able to sort of isolate them like the way I've just done there because that's you know that helps uh, later on down the line uh, another sort of quick and dirty approach is just to remark that there are 31 days in uh, May so uh, summary of ozone air quality ozone actually uh, and get the first th one 31 first 31 values and I forgot the dollar sign there there we have it there the maximum there that's another sort of approach you could take just the fact that you know that there are 31 days in May okay that ends this presentation